Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our lesson number 101. Day, day 101. We are halfway through the course. For those of you who are joining us for the very first time, here's a quick overview of the course. Right here, in the first 20 days, day one through one, day one through 20, we learned how to evaluate algebraic expression, algebraic expressions. Over the next 30 days, day number 21 through 50, we learned how to add and subtract algebraic expressions. The following 25 days, day number 51 through 75, we learned how to multiply algebraic expressions. And then over the next 10 days, day number 76 through 85, we learned how to divide, how to divide algebraic expressions. And over the last 15 days, over the last 15 days, day number 86 through 86 through 100, we had been doing, we had been learning how to solve linear equations. How to solve linear equations, right here. Today, we begin our second half of the semester, if you will, where we will learn, where we will learn how to solve, how to work with word problems. How to work with word problems, how to solve word problems. We will do 100 word problems, or maybe a few more than that, because some days I might do more than one. As usual, for those of you who have been following this course, as usual, in the beginning, the problems are going to be very simple. The first, first 10 or 20 days, the word problems, they're going to be very simple. Then we're going to get into medium problems. They're a little bit more difficult than a simple one. And over the last 30 or 40, the last 30 days or so, as we get closer to 200, the word problems will begin to get more challenging. That is, that is how it is. That is how it has been always. Now, this course, as you know, is meant for someone who had never had algebra before. If you happen to fall in this category, if you happen to fall in this category, if you had never had algebra before, then it is important, it is vital, it is crucial that you begin your work with day one and not day 101. If you wish to learn algebra the proper way, do not skip around. Watch the videos in the proper sequence and make sure that you do every single problem with me. You must have a notebook. You must have a dedicated notebook for this course. Put the day number on the top of the page. Put the date on the day that you're working so that you can keep track of your progress uh, before you begin your work. All right, enough said, let's begin. The word problem for today is, like I said before, they're gonna be very straightforward, very simple in the beginning. Here's the question. Question simply is, By how much does A exceed B? Obviously A is some number. Obviously A is some number that we, are, that we do not know. That's the whole point. It's algebra. It's not arithmetic. And B is some number. The question simply is by how much does A exceed B? How do you express this idea in an algebraic manner, in algebra, in, in the language of algebra? It's very simple. Very straightforward. Think of think of them as numbers. Plug in numbers. For example, if somebody were to ask you, by how much, by how much does fifty exceed? By how much does fifty exceed thirty-three? What will we do? By how much does fifty exceed thirty-three? Well, answer obviously is answer. obviously is 17 or 50 minus 33. If someone asks you how much does 50 exceed 33, 
50 exceeds 33 by the amount of 50 minus 33, whatever the difference between the two is. You see? In other words, in other words, well, before we get into this thing, so here, here, the answer will be, answer will be 50 minus 33. Our 50 was A, and our 33 was B. There you go, that's your answer. Here the answer will be A minus B. By how much does A exceed B? That's another way of saying, what is the difference between A and B? In other words, what we are claiming here, what we are claiming is that, what we are claiming is that the difference between A and B is A minus B. Obviously, as you can clearly see, A minus B, that's the difference. So if somebody asks you, how much does A exceed B? How much does A exceed B? Well, another, another way of asking the same question would be, by how much does A exceed B? Another way of asking the same question would be, if, you, if somebody were to ask you to paraphrase, sometimes when, when you're speaking in an ordinary language and you say something and somebody asks you to paraphrase it, say it in a different way, well, another way to paraphrase this question would be, by how much does A exceed B? Another way of asking the same question would be, what is, what is the difference between A and B? There is, that's the question. For those of you who do not know this symbol, this is between that's it, we are done. That's your answer. A exceeds B by the amount of A minus B. Whatever A is, minus B, you take away B, that's how much A exceeds. How much does 100 exceed 70? Well, 100 exceeds 70 by 30. And how do we find that? 100 minus 70. How much does 25 exceed 15? Well, 25 exceeds 15 by 10. 25 exceeds 15 by 10. 25 minus 15, A minus B. How much does 25 exceed 15? The answer is 10. How much does, how much does 100 exceed 10? 100 exceeds 10 by the amount of 90. How much does, how much does 5 exceed 2? Oh, well, 5 exceeds 2 by 3. And finally, how much does A exceed B? A exceeds B by the amount of A minus B. There you go. That's it. We're done. That's all. Now give me one second. I'm going to get out of the frame for just about 10 or 20 seconds and I'll be right back. Don't go away. Just give me one second, I need to do something. That's all there was. That's it. As I said, we'll do one simple question every day for the next 100 days and they will get more difficult as we, get, as we get along in the course. But that's, that's all I had for today. I will see you tomorrow on day number 102. Okay? We'll start out slowly, gradually, and we'll make progress. And by the time we get to the, in the, in the mid-range from 150 to 160, you will see a distinct difference between the level of difficulty that we saw here and what we're going to see there. And, and as we get closer to 200, they're going to get more difficult. But we cannot jump in the, if you want to simulate, if you cannot jump in the deep end of the pool, without first making sure that we know what we're doing uh, in the shallow end, if you will. The easy question. I will see you tomorrow on day number 102. All right?